All right, here's a look at the dip tube. It's basically a half inch female pipe thread to three eighths compression elbow. Um, you need to cut the excess threads off of the half inch part to enable the basket to still slide in there. And give you the clearance that you need. It's down there somewhere. So you can get it in there. No modification to the basket. It gets rid of that hose I had flapping around. It started floating up on me, so I think this will work out better. Uh, we'll come back for the timer test. All right, I've been trying to get this thing to turn on and have my strike water up to temperature before I get home. And uh, twice now, it's let me down. So we're just going to go ahead and program this thing. I've already got the timer set for 23 hours. And we're going to go ahead and set this thing to do the same thing. gets ready to go all right so we're gonna come back and look at this tomorrow and see where we're at both of them are counting down from 23 hours we'll see what's up with this thing all right see you tomorrow okay well it's today well, with yesterday's tomorrow when we started this thing with 23 hours to go the timer we're down to under two minutes and the mash and boil has 33 minutes left so we've lost a half an hour over 23 hours which is why this thing was never hot by the time I got home so Keep that in mind. I don't know if it's the same for everybody's. I can't imagine in this day and age we can't uh, make something that can keep time, but I guess not. So there you go. Half an hour off in 23 hours. I'll be brewing tomorrow, so I'm going to take that into consideration so this damn water is hot when I get home. All right. See you.